Hello again. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Road Architect and basically share the workflow that I use and show you how I create road networks using it. One of the subscribers, his name was Marcel. He was, he's also making a racing game and he wants to use Road Architect, but he was having a hard time using the system. So this video will hopefully help anybody else who wants to use a road network in their game. Um, if you want to use Road Architect. So I'm using uh, where's it at? I am using, I know it's in here somewhere. So I'm using the version from the asset store that I purchased a few years ago. It was version 1.2. It's also available on GitHub. So if you don't know what road architect is, it's a really powerful road system. And it's what I'm using to create my road network. Um, I absolutely love it. At this point, it's free and it's available on GitHub. So I, I can't really recommend it more. Um, so to start, you would go to Window, Road Architect, Create Road System. At that point, you have a road system object in your scene. And it starts you with one road to spawn road nodes, which is what this asset is built on, you would hold down the shift key. So I'll hold down shift. Let me, let me zoom in a little bit. So hold shift and click. Once you have two nodes, it's going to connect those two roads or connect the nodes and basically procedurally create geometry in between the nodes. And you can change the lane width that you could either have, well, you could change the amount of lanes and the lane width. There's a ton of settings. I'm just going to go over the basics. Um, the creator of road architect, if you search it on YouTube, you're going to find a ton of tutorials. I recommend watching those after you've watched all those, or if you get stuck and there's something you're trying to do that I didn't cover and, and you've seen me do in my project, let me know. But at this point, I'm, I'm just going to create a four lane road. We could see the, the road automatically updates. I'll change the width to six. And if you change any of these parameters, you have to click the update road. Now I have a bigger road. So I'll zoom out a little bit. I'll add some more nodes. And there we go. So now I have my first road. So Marcel was having difficulty creating T-shaped intersections. So the next step I would do to create a T-shape intersection would just be add the next road. Now I have road one and road two. There's also the intersections object, which once we create a, once we connect the nodes to create an intersection, we'll go and check out what that looks like. So here I'll, I'll start creating another road, drop the nodes in. And what I found is that you always want to have, maybe there's a way to do this without having all of the roads have the same settings, but basically I had the best results when I was only connecting four lane roads to four lane roads and making sure that their lane width was matching. If you adjust the shoulder width and the road definition, it, and, and as you go down this list, if if you adjust any of those other parameters, some of them you can probably, like I've changed the, the road definition and the max road grade on some of the roads that I have in my system without needing to adjust all of them. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of a, a trial and error thing, but for the most part, these first two options, the lanes and the lane width, you just want to make sure you're having all of your same roads that are connected to each other using the same settings. So now I'll just click this node and go ahead and drag it on to the other one. And that created a nice intersection. Um, I'll go ahead and do a few more examples. Also, if you expand the intersections now, we can see that that intersection actually has its own parameters as well. So here you can click update intersection if for some reason it didn't look right. Now I'll go ahead and create some more roads. So I have road three. One of the things that I found is that when you're creating intersections, you want 
as many possible nodes as possible. Well, that didn't really make sense. You, you want to have as many nodes as, as you might need. So if, if I'm creating an intersection on the left and this intersection here, I want to make sure there's nodes in between those intersections. So basically always make sure you have nodes in between your intersections that are not part of an intersection, if that makes sense. So I'll update that to a four lane road, change the lane width, and I'll go ahead and drag this one over here. There we go. Now we got a, a kind of funky result. We could see that that we have a little gap here. Um, so part of that could be because there might be, no, they're all flat. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and align these a little bit more and then I'll go up to the top and hit update all roads and see if that fixes it. So I'm still having an issue. I'm going to try raising the intersection a little bit. Okay might have to do with the, there being some weird height on this road, but now that looks a lot better. Um, actually I could still see through. Let me try to see if I could get, get that to be a little bit better. I try to make my, my lines as perpendicular as possible. Oop, there we go. I'll update the road system again. Yeah, so it seems to be working, and um, that's basically it. So let me actually go ahead and create a four-way intersection. So on road three, create a few more nodes. and I'll add a road. Now I have additional nodes on the left and right, top and bottom. Go ahead and grab this node and drop it in there. Now we can see because the, the roads were different sizes, I had an issue again. So I'll go back to my road make sure they match. And that time it updated automatically, which was kind of cool. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'll go ahead and update all roads again. And then each node, you, you basically just want to go in and play with each node. So, so if you wanted to make them um, more detailed at this point, you basically want to make sure it's perfect. Um, You could come in and let's say you wanted this road to be straight. Let's see which axis am I on? So, so these are all aligned on the, let's align all of these on the Z axis. So if I select this road network or, or this road, I'll grab all the nodes. Well, first let me go to the intersection and I'll copy that Z value and I'll go back to my, oops. I was control Zing and uh, I was getting confused between the previous commands and selection. Um, so now I'll go ahead and update all of those nodes on the Z. So now they're all straight and now I'll go ahead and update all of the roads again. Now you can see I have a nice straight road. And you could do the same thing for this intersection too. Basically that's it. So that's the workflow that I use with Road Architect and that's how I create my road system. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. I hope this helps. See you in the next video.